look at the picture behind me. It is from the G20 finance ministers meeting in India. There are women leading some of the biggest economies in the world. From the right, it is India's finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman, Indonesia's finance minister Mulyani Indravati, United States Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, Deputy Managing Director of International Monetary Fund Geeta Gopinath, Canadian Finance Minister Christia Freeland, and lastly, Managing Director of the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva. They discussed critical global economic challenges facing our world, including the threats posed by climate change and rising debt. The group of 20 major economies also decided how geopolitics could hurt the economies, like the Russia-Ukraine war. Even in the 21st century, women are mostly absent from the financial sectors. The economy forums are usually dominated with men and their black suits. But these women are changing the norm. Women head the International Monetary Fund, the World Trade Organization, the U.S. Treasury and the European Central Bank. However, more broadly, women remain a small minority in this field. According to Women in Economics Initiative's 2022 index, women represent from 10% to 24% of the top global positions in economics. The reasons are complex to say the least. Economics entails a lot of mathematics and analytical thinking. And there is a cliche that men are better at those, which is not true. This is discouraging for women and those who still choose this field face discrimination where they are not promoted to the highest ranks.